remember, we had dope trailers for The Witcher 3. There was some really badass trailers like The Lady at the Lake. Hey guys, it's the RPG Gamer here, and we are watching another trailer reaction. And today, as you can see, we have Keanu Reeves' face staring at us. I'm feeling special. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling empowered. Let's jump through this. We got a Cyberpunk 2077 trailer. Looks like it's a TV spotlight. I'm seeing only about 30 seconds. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 sees the day. Probably going to run through this one twice. Let's jump into it. Oh, first, like and subscribe. Let's do it. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Ooh. Getting caught. Okay. Duh. In Night City, you can become anyone, anything, if your body can pay the price. Oh. So seize the day, then set it on fire. Okay, let's let's run it back. In okay, so on first watch, that was freaking epic. Um, I, it was all cinematic, um, but it's a thirty second spotlight. I could see this. Um, I don't have cable, so I could see this running through like cable during football games or whatever. I could see them throwing this up in between. Um, I'm glad they're doing marketing because I was just watching the Unlocked uh, Xbox podcast and they were talking about comparing uh call of duty sales versus cyberpunk sales and they brought up marketing and how call of duty is always heavily marketed especially in uh when of course it always release usually like, releases in november so to see them um get on uh, cd project red actually getting behind their game um in terms of marketing because remember we had dope trailers for the witcher 3 there was some really badass trailers like the lady at the lake um and then uh, all the little snippets, it was some really cinematic stuff. So seeing them do this is a great sign that they're really trying to push this to the masses. So let's let's watch, let's watch it one more time. What makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. Okay. And then you got the Billie Eilish track running in the background. In Night City, you can become anyone, anything, if your body can pay the price. So seize the day, then set it on fire. See that? And then I think that's like a special, uh, I want to say that's like a special mix. I don't remember hearing that on the original track. Um, but I'm going to leave that up because I just like that color and that background is sick. But um, real talk, this game, man. I've been doing my best to keep my uh, keep my cool and try not to think about it too much. Surprisingly, and uh, being honest, I haven't watched too much, too many of the Nightwire videos. I think I've seen the first one. I haven't watched any of the ones that came after that because I don't want to spoil the game for myself. Like, I really don't want to go into this game knowing everything. Um, I never played the tabletop game. Uh, so I don't know too much of the backstory. I haven't dug too much into the history of the game. But I really am excited for this because CD Projekt Red making a first person experience or I don't know if it's going to be third person over the shoulder, but for sure, uh, first person experience and be with all the customization and then in a modern experience outside of swords and magic. So now we're dealing with technology and guns. I'm I really, really, really excited for this, man. Like uh, and then you got Keanu Reeves as a set piece. Um, I, I'm, from what I understand from the, uh, review, the reveal, like deep dive trailers, he's going to be a major character that's along with you, sort of, a, um, not a NP, not a navigator. Um, uh, I guess he's going to be your, your mental companion from what I understand and correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, cause I'm just rambling at this point, but this game looks dope. I, I'm thinking this is going to be one of those titles that I'm going to play multiple ways because you got the Corpos, um, you got, uh, I believe they're called Street Runners, and then there's another group. Um, once again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments and let me know below. But 
also on top of correcting me and pointing out my mistakes, let me know which what part about Cyberpunk 2077 you're most excited for. And actually, while we're here, let me know what you're uh, least excited for with this game. Me, I'm I'm worried about the driving mechanics. Um, I, I know a car is a lot different than a horse. And I wonder how much driving is going to be a part of this game. Um, I don't mind a good driving game, but I don't think this game... And I don't know. I haven't played it. Um, I don't know if the driving is going to be enjoyable or be more of a headache. Like, I know people complained about that with uh, the most recent Batman um, Arkham installment where the driving the Batmobile, people complained. And, but I... You know, who knows? CD Projekt Red probably has it. They probably got it all figured out. But I'm excited. This looks dope. Um, check out all the links below. Make sure to check out Level 1 Gaming, where I am a writer and I create content for. Actually, I'm going to be working on that in a little bit. And then also check out Podcast Adventures of Black Nerds. I do that with T. Jones, the silent assassin. Um, he's definitely going to be mad about that one. And then much love to Johnny man. And we do, uh, star cross gamers and all the stuff below and shout out to tone deaf network. Much love to the family, but yeah, uh, likes and ums, please, please, please subscribe. Help me on this great YouTube journey and make sure to like and hit the notification so you can see all my crazy videos. I usually post about weekly. So gaming reviews, trailer reactions, and, uh, just general haberdashery much love. Peace.